you want first? The good news or the bad news? Oh wait, it's Activision. There's never ever good news in the Call of Duty community right now. Well, the last thing there was good news, it was Black and Black Ops 2, which was back in 2012, so yeah, we're never getting good news right now. Um, so yeah, let's just talk about this and see where this goes. So maybe a week ago, two weeks ago, there was a leak going around. A game called Modern Warfare Trilogy. It wasn't a game, it was more of a, a bunch of games. Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 obviously. So they put them all in at one. And guess what? And what take a guess. Just, just, just pause the video and take a guess what happens. Just, just, just take a minute. I'll, I'll wait. I can wait. I, I can. That game that's coming out is only for freaking last gen. Why would you even do that? Like, what is the point in that? Um, where is it, how is it going to help them? The game, the games. Um, the first one, Modern Warfare One, I think, came out in two thousand and seven. Obviously people have bought that, Modern Warfare 2 came out a few years later, then Modern Warfare 3, which people have obviously all got. Why would you want to buy Modern Warfare Trilogy for the last gen? Really? Clearly they're listening, but they're not listening properly. We want Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 for next gen, not last gen, next gen. Is this a troll? I think so. Look at some troll sitting there on Activision saying, Oh, let's, let's bring out... Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, 2 and 3, but what for? Last gen! Then they just, oh, I, I'm so pissed off, I don't know why they would even do that. I don't know if it's just to get to us that last, that current gen can't get the game, the games, because, I don't even know, the, the games were probably the best ones they made, and they done great with the games, and then after that they just fucked up the series, but, I really don't have a clue what they are thinking. People out there are probably like, wait, 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 wait. The Night of Thunder, where is your proof that they're making a Modern Warfare trilogy? If you go on Google right now, type in Walmart, then go to the Walmart search bar and type in Modern Warfare trilogy, you can see it for $40. Which, to me, $40 is like £30, which is not even a lot of money. But I'm still not buying that, there's no point in me even buying that. Like, I already have all three of them sitting there, and I, I still play them, though. I still play them, but I'm playing a lot of last gen lately, so... I don't know why I'd want to buy it again, but... Please, Activision, just listen to this for once, and bring all the games, even though we're bring, getting Modern Warfare 1, just give us Modern Warfare 2 and 3, yeah, and Black Ops 2, and put it to next gen. That, that'd be brilliant. That, I would, I would be so that proud of you guys. But let me guess, you're going to say no because you don't listen to your fans, that's one. And you just don't want to do it again, you don't want to remake the best Call of Duty that everyone was loving at the time. And since that David Von Der Haar has left, let me guess, COD is going to be shit from now on. Like, it's, it's actually ending now. But I, if you're a fan, then be a fan. I'm not going to change your opinion, I'm not going to move into your opinion or any shit like that, but I think COD is now turning into a stupid game that they put a lot of money into for years and years, like in this game, play you can see Black Ops 1, Black Ops 1 to me is the one that kicked it off for me, or nearly, or just actually it kicked it off just before that, which was COD 4 I think, maybe not COD 4, but it was before that, it was around COD 4, but if I, if I have an opinion, since Vondahar left, COD is officially destroyed and ruined. Will they ever remaster Black Ops 1 and 2? I don't think so. I don't think they're going to remaster games. And did you see that? How did the thing not go off? My C4 should have went off there. But we'll just need to see where COD leads in the next years ahead of us. If I could give Treyarch a few tips, my tips would be make all the best Call of Duties from last gen to current gen which is probably never going to happen, but I'm just going to say it anyway. And maybe even stop making games and just remaster every single one. One, maybe even two a year. Like Treyarch could do one and uh, Infinity War could do one. And they could just both put them in current gen. And if they would be happy, if they would be celebrating, and people would, be, people would stop moaning at Treyarch for a change. Like, 
and that is not easily. People, no, not trail. People would stop more than Activision for a change because at least on the Activision's like, like games, like they're every game. No, not every game. But the, the latest games have been futuristic, and nobody wants futuristic. And it's mostly like the most recent COD, Inf Infinite Warfare. That was them that picked that that had to be futuristic, set in space, not set in space, but like taking part in space. In my opinion, I'll probably never hardly play that game. But I will probably do a playthrough or, or a few gameplays on it. I'll, I'll see how it goes. If I like it, then I'll, I'll be really, really shocked. People are even saying that it might even be worse than uh, Advanced Warfare, which Advanced Warfare was a really, really, really bad game. Like, there's nothing worse than that right now. Like, nobody, nobody has made a game worse than that. Maybe Ghosts, but I don't know. People give, give Ghosts a lot of crap, and it's. It's not as bad as people say. It's, it is a bad game, but it's not as bad as they say. It's not. It's not got the jump, jump feature, or the mechanic, jump mechanics. It's not getting like run across walls. It's not get anything like that. It's not got futuristic guns. It's just got a good bunch of stuff that wasn't even futuristic at the time. I don't know what year that game's set in, but whatever year it was set in, I don't give them shit for it. I feel like they've done well with it. So let's just get back on topic, what I was talking about at the start with like Modern Warfare Trilogy. Do I think that was stupid? Yeah, they could have they could have been working on that for the past few years. Like maybe three years of a remaster of all three of them on one. They could have done that, but why not? Uh, what would we think about this? Let me just think about this again. It's Activision. Activision I feel like they hate that when their fans are happy. I don't know if that's a bad way to put it, but I feel like it's I, hate, I feel like they hate when their fans are smiling and happy that they're in the Call of Duty because years and years ago they used to love it when their fans were happy like back in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 all great, all four great games there and Modern Warfare 1, don't forget that's what's 5 but I don't know like why are they even doing this Modern Warfare trilogy if I already have the three games on disc for the Xbox 360, and one of them for the PS3, and one of them for the PC. Why are they doing this? That is the most pointless thing I've ever seen in Call of Duty history. Like, I don't even know what to call this a video, it's that bad, it's quite embarrassing that they're doing that. Like, Modern Warfare... There's, the series of Modern Warfare is brilliant. But whenever I went to next gen, I was wondering, why do you ever bring these games to current gen? And do you know my answer to that? No, they won't ever bring them in current gen. Unless uh, it's a 10 hour anniversary for Modern Warfare 2, then it's a 10 hour anniversary for Modern Warfare 3, and they'll be like, yeah, let's do it, yeah. And they'll be sitting there like, you're too late. Do you want to know why they're too late? Because they've probably run out of money to even bring them to current gen. Or, or they just don't do it. But we have to wait and see the future of Call of Duty. We, we don't know yet. I don't think it will happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe that would just lock that it remastered COD 4. We don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'm kind of just sitting here right now wondering what do I even talk about in this video? It's that bad? The video is not bad. I hope not. But this news is this bad. Why are they making a Modern Warfare trilogy, right? For last gen. With no upgraded graphics. With no... I don't think there's anything. Like, it's just the same game. $40, £30, pounds, whatever, Euros, whatever. Why are they doing this? It's, in my opinion, it's a waste of money because they are just not even revamping anything. It's just, it's just stupid. If I'm correct, I get a good kill here, actually. This is good, watch this. And this, watch this. Ready? Ready? Who's ready? Oh, that was good. But why are they doing this? Just, why? Did, did they not understand we don't want it for last gen? Like, Danny had messaged him on Twitter right now, said, We don't want it for last year, we want it for current gen. They really don't listen to us, they, they need to listen more, they, they need to put the time in and actually listen. Like, the last time they listened to their fans was so long ago that it was actually insane. Like, Activision don't listen at all, they're the ones that just sit there and, and just pray. Yeah, if you're wondering why I said just pray, because they, they pray that people are going to buy the game, they pray that people be interested in the new Call of Duty every single year. 
there is games that come out every single year, and it doesn't have to be Call of Duty, there's tons of games that come out every single year. But Call of Duty is one that comes out every year and it is nothing different on it. Maybe a few features, but they just sit and pray hoping people will buy their game every single year that they've been doing for the last 2000, since 2003, which it's now 2016. So they pray that people are still going to buy the game. They've lost a lot of people for the year. They lost people after Black Ops 2, they lost people after Ghost, they lost loads and loads of people. The worst ones probably after Advanced Warfare, they lost a lot of people then. But people came back and bought Black Ops 3 and they were, they were like, um, um, it's okay, it's not the best. In, in my opinion, they, they've lost so many people that they're lucky to even have fans now. I don't even know if I can class them as fans. I don't know if you've checked, I'm going to talk about this quickly, but if you go on YouTube and go off Type in Call of Duty, you'll find the new trail for the Call of Duty, and guess what? It's now officially at 2 million dislikes. I don't know how much, like 2 million, such and such. It's 2 million dislikes, and people are still hitting the dislike button because people want a, a game that is not set in the future, that is not set in fucking thousands of years. People want a game that is set in World War One, World War Two, or Modern Warfare. Mo yes, Modern Warfare. People miss the old Black Ops games like this one I'm playing right now. I miss this game. It's amazing. But I'm gonna leave a question for today. This is the this is the question for today. Where do you think Call of Duty will be in three years' time? <laughs>